The Struggle of Letting Go Hey everyone, welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we dive deep into the art of manifestation and the teachings of Neville Goddard. Today I want to talk about something that I still struggle with from time to time, letting go. If you've ever tried to control every little detail of your manifestation, only to feel frustrated when things don't go as planned, you're not alone. I've been there too. But here's the thing, the art of letting go is crucial to manifesting more of what you want. When I finally learned to relax and live in the end, my manifestations started coming faster and more effortlessly. Understanding the Law of Assumption Before we dive into the specifics of letting go, let's revisit the foundation of all manifestation work, the Law of Assumption. Neville Goddard teaches us that whatever we assume to be true becomes our reality. This means that the key to manifesting what you want is to live as though your desire is already fulfilled. But here's where it gets tricky. How do you hold on to this assumption without clinging to the outcome? Assuming the end state isn't just about positive thinking, it's about embodying the feeling of your wish fulfilled. But when we try to control every aspect of how that manifestation will unfold, we actually disrupt the natural flow of the universe. It's like planting a seed and then constantly digging it up to see if it's growing. We have to trust that once we've planted the seed, it will grow, if we just let it be. The Paradox of Control Here's the paradox. While we must live in the assumption that our desire is already fulfilled, we also have to let go of the need to control how it comes to us. This can be a tough balance to strike. In my own journey, I found myself slipping into old patterns trying to micromanage the process. And every time I do, I notice that my manifestations slow down or even stall. The truth is, the more we try to control, the more we signal to our subconscious that we don't actually believe in the inevitability of our desires. This doubt creates resistance, which blocks the very thing we're trying to manifest. Letting go doesn't mean giving up. It means trusting the process, knowing that your desire is on its way. The science behind letting go. Let's bring some neuroscience into the mix. Studies show that our brain is most effective at problem-solving and creative thinking when we're in a relaxed state. When we're stressed or trying to force an outcome, our brain goes into overdrive, which can actually inhibit our ability to see opportunities and solutions. By letting go, you allow your brain to enter a more relaxed state, often referred to as the alpha state. This is where your subconscious mind is most receptive, where ideas flow easily and where your assumptions can take root and grow. So when you find yourself stressing over how or when your desire will manifest, remember, your job is to focus on the end and then relax into it. This is where the magic happens, the role of faith in letting go. Faith is a big part of the letting go process. Neville often talked about faith as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But faith isn't just about believing in something without evidence, it's about trusting that the evidence will come as a result of your belief. When you live in the end, you're acting on faith. You're assuming that what you want is already yours, even if you can't see it yet. But to truly live in this state, you must also release the need to know how it will come to pass. Faith and letting go go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. My personal experience with letting go. I'll be honest, letting go hasn't always been easy for me. In past, I was always a person that wanted to control every aspect of my life that I possibly could. I used to think that the more I focused on my desires, the faster they would manifest. But I was wrong. I realized that my constant focus on the how was actually a form of resistance. It was only when I relaxed, trusted and truly let go that things started to flow. One of my biggest manifestations happened when I stopped obsessing over it. I had been trying to manifest a specific outcome for months and nothing was happening. But when I finally decided to let go and focus on enjoying my life, that's when everything fell into place. The manifestation came faster than I could have imagined and it was even better than I had hoped for. Techniques for letting go. So how do we actually let go? It's not as simple as just saying, I'm letting go now. It's a practice, and like any practice, it takes time and patience. One technique that has helped me is shifting my focus from the outcome to the present moment. Instead of constantly thinking about my desire, I focus on what I can enjoy right now. 
Another technique is to use affirmations that reinforce trust and letting go, like I trust the process or everything is unfolding perfectly. By repeating these affirmations, you're reprogramming your subconscious to relax and let go of the need to control. The power of visualization in letting go. Visualization is a powerful tool in the manifestation process, but it's also a key to letting go. When you visualize, you're not just daydreaming, you're training your mind to live in the end. The more vivid and emotional your visualization, the more real it becomes to your subconscious. After your visualization, instead of clinging to it, release it. Trust that the seeds you've planted in your mind will grow into reality. Visualize, feel it deeply, and then let it go, knowing that it's already done. Signs that you've successfully let go. How do you know when you've truly let go? One of the biggest signs is a sense of peace. When you've let go, you no longer feel anxious or impatient. You're content knowing that your desire is on its way and you're no longer fixated on when or how it will arrive. Another sign is that you start to notice small manifestations, little signs that the universe is aligning to bring you what you've asked for. These synchronicities are a reminder that your desire is unfolding perfectly, even if you can't see the full picture yet. Overcoming the challenges of letting go. Letting go isn't always easy, and there will be times when you feel the urge to control the outcome. When that happens, remind yourself that your job isn't to figure out the how. Your job is to live in the end, feel the emotions of your fulfilled desire, and then trust that the universe will handle the rest. If you find yourself struggling, take a step back and refocus on your end goal. Reconnect with the feeling of your desire fulfilled, and then release it once more. It's a practice, and with time it will become easier and more natural. The freedom in letting go. Letting go isn't about giving up. It's about freeing yourself from the need to control and allowing the universe to work its magic. When you master the art of letting go, you open yourself up to more possibilities, more abundance, and faster manifestations. Trust in the process, live in the end, and watch as your desires flow effortlessly into your life. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to hear this, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, only 1.6% of our subscribers have notifications turned on, so hit that bell to stay updated on all our transformative content. And if you've made it this far, drop the word flowing in the comments to show that you're ready to let go and let the universe work its magic in your life. Remember, letting go is not about losing control, it's about gaining freedom. By mastering this art, you allow more of what you desire to effortlessly come into your life. Let go, trust and manifest more. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep living in the end and enjoying the journey.